back. <laughs> June the 16th. I think it's Wednesday. I'm pretty sure it's Wednesday. I had to let my hair down. I got a, another joke and somehow this seems appropriate. I'm going to have to read it because it's kind of long. So bear with me. Let's see if I can do this. All right, here we go. Here we go. Settle in. It's kind of a long joke. <laughs> so this man is going down the road. And as he he's going, his car breaks down. But it's near a monastery. So he, uh, he goes up to the monastery and he knocks on the door. And he says, hey, he says, my, my car broke down. And it's getting late. Could I stay the night until I can get my car fixed? And the monk said, sure. So they came in and he lays down and he even they, they fit, worked on his car. They got him dinner and he decided to rest. And as he lay there, he hears this, this sound. It sounded like anything he's ever heard before. And as he's laying there, he, he can't sleep that night. He's, it's just just this wonderful sound. And he tosses and he turns and he's trying to figure it out. We could have possibly be making this sound. Well, the next morning when he gets up, the monks bring him in for breakfast and he says to them, he says, hey, he says, what was that sound? It was so, it was so wonderful. It's so awesome. I, I, I got to know what that sound was. And the monk says, you know, we can't tell you. You're not a monk. And he was distraught, and then, you know, he had to leave. Well, as the years go by, he just cannot forget that sound. So the man goes back to the monastery, and he begs them, he pleads with them, please, you've got to tell me what was making that sound. What was that beautiful noise? And the monks tell you, I'm, I'm sorry, we can't tell you, you're not a monk. The man just, he, he just, ah, oh, that sound. He said, well, if the only way I can find out what's making that beautiful sound is to be a monk, then tell me, please, how can I become a monk? And they said, well, you must travel the earth and tell us how many blades of grass there are and the exact number of grains of sand. When you find these answers, you will become a monk. The man says, all right. And so he sets out on the task. And as he goes, after many, many years, many years, decades, he returns. And he's all gray-haired, his long beard, and he knocks on the door of the monastery. And a monk answers, and he is taken back to the gathering of monks. He says, in my quest to find what makes that beautiful sound, I travel the earth, and I found what you asked for. By design, the world is in a state of perpetual change. Only God knows what you ask. All man can know is himself. And only then, if he is honest and reflective and willing to strip away all his self-deception, the monks nod. They say, congratulations. You have become a monk. We shall now show you the way to the mystery of of the sacred of the sound. The monk leads him to a wooden door and where the head monk says the sound is just beyond this door and gives him a key to the wooden door and he opens the wooden door. And then behind that door is a door of stone. And see, so he hands him the keys to the stone. And so it went that he needed keys to doors of emerald and pearl and diamond and finally Finally, they come to a door made of solid gold. The sound has become clear and definitive. The monk says, 